Okay, this is the XMR embedded. Um, just right click on the screen, go to my menu, go to system, go to network, make sure your DHCP is enabled to get automatic IP. Your port um, is default 34567, but I change it to 34562 for our network. That's your other port. Uh, please remember these two ports, you're going to use your port forward. Then we get out of here, right click, net service. This is the place where you put in your Eagle View CCTV, my DDNS address. You use your email for the username and the password is the one you chose when you registered your DNS address. Cancel that. Get out of here. And I'm going to make a video about the PC just now. As you can see, I'm on my router at the moment. Um, I choose a name for the service, which should be my DVR. Um, that can be any name, and then you select uh, TCP UDP from this list. You choose your port, which is 80 to 80, and you redirect it also to 80. Sorry about the shaking, 80. And then you go and you select the embedded IP address, which is 127. And then you click on, sorry, my fault. And then you click on add, which will add to my list DDR1. You can see the port 8080. The second port I will add now as well, I'll call it DDR2. Still the same DVR, it's just TCP UDP 34562 to 34562 34562 34562 And then of course I select the IP address again here And then after that, I add. Okay, and that's the setup. You can see the DVR is always on. There's the two ports, 80 to port well, 80, and then port 34562. That was the port forward. For DMZ, you will just go to, you just don't use both together. Then for DMZ, you can go here. If you want to, you can add the site as a DMZ. Uh, which will mean that the port forwarding, but in this case I've done port forwarding so I can disable my DMZ and that's the setup Okay, as can be seen I've entered the DDNS address into um, uh, Internet Explorer an important note is to if you are using Internet Explorer 10 is to add your site as a compatibility view site so that um, the site you can see I've added uh, DDNS as compatibility view um, that's quite important otherwise you may have trouble and then also what I've done is I have added this site as a trusted site you go to internet options you go to security and you go to trusted sites and in trusted sites you add uh, I think it will be here. Uh, we see uh, eagleviewccctv.dvsnet is added there. Just close this, close this. After you've done that, you can refresh the page. Refresh the page. One second. It's loading now. There we go. And I'm going to enter my password. Uh, your system won't have a password um, unless you put one. There we go. And as you can see, I can connect to all my cameras from here and everything is set up. 